So far we have created lightning web component where we have given ability to an administrator to define the parameter or design parameters. For example, in one of our le lectures previously, if we looked into a component, let me just edit this page. Over here, we had created this component in our previous lecture where as an administrator, I can specify the opportunity amount. So any opportunity which is less than this amount will not be displayed on this account page. So I can go and change it to 100,000, suppose. Let's see. I can go back and refresh. Now, let's take for example, we want to give this control to the user, the actual user. To do that, we will make use of a component by name slider. Now, slider could be your horizontal or could be vertical. And when we are making a slider, we are going to define the max range, minimum range and the steps of the increment. In our example today, we are going to create a slider which will be there on the top of this component where a user will be able to scroll that slider right to left to find out the number of opportunities which are falling within that particular amount range. To do that, let's go to Visual Studio. Let's close these two files and let's look into dynamic HTML. On this particular HTML, we first have to add our slider. Now, if I look into the documentation for slider, it's a tag lightning slider, and then we label step value on change. Okay. So in this HTML, we have just added a slider by label amount limit we are specifying the max and min value and the step of increment. And when we change this on change, we are calling a method or a function handle change. Now we need to define this event in our JS file. So if I open the JS file, in this JS file, we are going to define that event which is going to capture the amount. So just to tell you, if you would have remember, we have a method get opportunity where we are passing the amount in the where clause of the SQL. So let me just open that also for you. So over here, this is our class which we are calling in our let me open js file in our js file and we are passing amount and record id we are passing amount and record id now this amount is something that we are going to make it dynamic and we'll make sure it comes from the slider to do that we have to specify a function over here which will be called handle change so we have a function by name handle change now added, which is saying put whatever is the target value which is coming from that event, put it into the amount and make use of that amount in the query. Now let's save this. Let's save my HTML. And now we are going to deploy it. SFDX is running, now it is successful. Now let's go back to our, now let's refresh this. Let's refresh it again. So this is our slider now. So as I keep on sliding, it will show me the opportunity where it the range is there so 
will keep on increasing if I decrease it it will decrease so this way we have given control to the end user to show me all the opportunities which are less than 49,600 less than 50,000 59,000 and I can change it so this was a way we can use slider to give more usability feature to the end user thank you